know if if you guys know who this is. I'll tell you who that is. This is Mr. Tim Pool. This guy's been so critical on a lot of topics about LGBTQ, police, education, all that stuff. Tenth Man has done some panels and calling this guy out. He said he's scribing. You know, there are some points that Tim Pool can have some good political backgrounds and agenda. But some of the stuff is just like, what the fuck you on, bro? We'll get another case right here. Tim Pool is calling for more money for the police. Yes. A popular YouTuber blames police credits for Tyree Nichols' incident. What? Yeah, look at it. Look at it said. This is what Mr. Tumpool is preaching right here. Memphis PD dramatically lowers standards before hiring officers charged at night to Tyrus Nichols' death. All right, let's just get to it, shall we? All right, let's break it down. Officers, more money, not less. Fix the machine. Don't bar it to the ground, because then you'll get this. Fresh on the heels of the Tyree Nichols beating and unfortunate murder, popular YouTubers like Tim Pool are calling for more funding for police departments, not less, to strengthen them, not to take away their power. And because they have such a wide following and so many people buy into this mentality, I think... Well, it's not Mr. Tim Poole that does it. Didn't he get an ex-officers like Mr. You know, Brandon Tatum? He calls for us like that. This is the same guy in the political background. It's called the, the you value police officer or heroes. Then you got Mr. Brandon Tatum said the five police officers, you know, the ones that were punching and kicking him like a, yeah, but the ones that were bad, so they should never be charged. Then Mr. Brandon Tatum is talking about oh, those police officers should, should have never been charged with murder too in the first place. More, and they're talking about more money for policing out there. Oh, let's get more, more, more cops out there. This is the same engine and the breath as well that the fellow cuck and the spluge are talking about. Oh, we need more police. Let's get more money get out there for more police out there. Yeah, let's get more guns out there. Let's not buy bump stocks and uh, bu guns out there. We should exercise our Second Amendment rights as well. Yeah, they're talking about, oh, let's ban LGBTQ and let's ban same-sex marriage like gay and lesbian marriage out there as well. This is, this is what I'm talking about, these right-wingers, affidavit, political, ass, you know, asphyxiated fucks. I think it's something we really need to talk yeah. about. Yeah. <laughs> Hit the subscribe button, smash the bell notification icon, and let's roll that intro. Let's do it. Here's the deal. 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 Cause here's the deal. Here's the deal. Either give me your ID or you go to jail. How about that? Catch me outside. How about that? How about that? How about that? There's the How deal. about that? Now, that's what he gonna say. Hey, Bart Durfrom, how do you like me now? How about that? How's the deal? Bart Durfrom, you wanna play a game? Let's play a game. How about that? <laughs> channel where we go out of our way to try to find all the good cops we hear so much about yeah. while exposing the bad cops and the bootlickers who support and defend them and their tyrannical ways now some of you may know this guy called tim pool of course he's become quite the popular youtuber and podcaster garnering hundreds of thousands of views per podcast and millions of views per video an avid supporter of rehabilitating the broken and corrupt system Tim was recently commenting on a post-millennial article where he claims that police... Tim Poole is the same guy, ladies and gentlemen. This guy was talking about, you know, more, more policing, taking an education about the LGBTQ community like that. He was going around and saying, like, oh, like, the, I forget what it was. Tenth Man was calling him out or something like that as well. I forget what it was. But uh, if I can remember the top of my head, he was talking about one abolishing same-sex marriage, like, ban, you know... Lesbians and gays getting married as well, and he thinks I mean, like that. He thinks the reason why transgender people are getting killed and bullied at a longer rate because of the because the LGBTQ community and the you know the people of the lesbian and gay community, which is absolutely astonishing bullshit. Temple doesn't know what the what the I mean, he doesn't know from the truth or a lie and land his lap. We wouldn't know how to tell on the pro, to tell a proper script or in a stick. Police departments need more money. Yeah, need more not money, less. not less. And people who criticize the police are the ones we need to blame for the murder of Tyree Nichols. Which is absolutely bullshit. Most millennial does report on how they lowered their standards. So this is the result 
of defund the police. This is the result of the attack on the police. I'm sorry, this is reality. He's saying this the brutal beating of Tyree Nichols is a result of that. This was one. five black cops beating a black man to death. And of course, they're already trying to claim it's white supremacy. Okay, dude, this is your fault. You go after the police and say disband them, defund them, and all that stuff. I say accountability. I no, it, well, he, Temple doesn't, he doesn't grasp the straw. He does not grasp it. The reason why people are talking about defunding the police, why people America hate the police so much, they'll have no zero trust in because you got police officers out there beating, shooting, and killing unarmed citizens because you got people at these days are exercising their right because people know their rights. The cops got their... Getting away with the stuff because cops out there get got such thing called qualified immunity. They get away with that by raping, beating, murdering people out there. And people call on for qual you know, defund the police because you got cops out there costing their taxpayers at city and their county thousands, not million dollars because it's called lawsuits. You got I mean there's a story out there where a one cop cost a taxpayer six hundred thousand dollars. Hell, a couple officers in Apple Valley. Cost their town five hundred thousand dollars, half a million dollars, because they violated the rights of a truck driver who just simply do his job. I say probably need more funding for training. Probably need more police officers. More cops. Probably need community intervention units. More money. Not more money. Less. Fix the machine. Fix Don't a corrupt and violent machine. Because then you'll okay. But they cause the problem. Then they complain. He's saying we don't give we more like, money oh, to a corrupt no, machine. Dude, we'll see we more brutal beatings like Tyrese Nichols. Huge called this out. Now look where we are. The only thing that I can see that someone could logically agree with and what Tim says here is that what happened with Tyree Nichols is definitely not a case of white supremacy. That anyone would claim that it is, is dishonest and obviously has... If anybody thinks that's white supremacy, first of all, Mr. Tim Poole needs to look at the race of these uh, officers that got charged. Five out of the six are, are black. Tyrus Nichols as a black man. The police chief, C.J. Brown, as a black African female. Okay. An agenda that doesn't include embracing the truth. The real problem here is the mental degeneracy brought about by succumbing to a culture of tyrannical thinking. And this goes hand in hand with the acquisition and influence of corrupting power. These cops could only power corrupts do what they and absolute power Tyree corrupts Nichols absolutely because they themselves don't live according to the golden rule principle of doing to others what you would want done to you, and conversely, don't do to others what you wouldn't want done to you. The law enforcement profession, supported by the extortion of the people, is a profession built on forced compliance, violence, brutality, and robbery. Like Washington said, Government is not eloquence, it is not reason, it is force. And like fire, it's a dangerous servant and a fearful, fearful master. master. What Tim Poole is saying here is that a violent gang of armed, order-following, power-hungry control freaks needs more money, not less. And then he paints everyone who criticizes the cops with a broad brush of libtardism and blames them for being the reason departments like these have lowered their recruitment stamp. I mean, yeah. You got Tim Pool. I mean, he doubles down a jackboot, thug, libtard, snowflake, bootlicking, asswipe he is. Which is exactly what the Post Millennial article says. The thing that makes this murky in the minds of the masses is that some of the people who are calling to defund and disband the police are largely self-proclaimed Marxist types like BLM leader Patrice Cullors. We actually do have an ideological frame. We uh, are trained Marxists. Who, along with another BLM leader, Hawk Newsom, claims that if they don't get what they want, they're going to burn this country to ashes. Give black people their rights, or we will burn this country to ashes. So we've got these people who are clearly anti-American authoritarian status, BLMers, who rightly want to defund and disband another authoritarian anti-American organization, the Fraternal Order of Police. And you've got Tim here taking sides with the gang who's got a monopoly on force, brutality, coercion, and extortion, while condemning everybody else 
who offers just criticism for the gangsters with badges. And I'm not saying Tim should be taking the BLM side here, but there is a side you can take here that's not BLM and it's not the Fraternal Order of Police. It's the side that says absolutely not to any form of authoritarianism. So the takeaway here is that we've got all these popular personalities out there swaying the minds of the masses and telling us that we need to fix the machine that's grinding our liberties and stealing our time and labor and strapping unborn generations with banker debt, telling us, don't burn the machine to the ground. Fix the machine. Don't burn it to the ground, because then you'll get this. Tim says, if you don't fix the machine and feed it more money, you'll keep getting the abuse of power leading to mass unjust incarcerations and even death like we saw with Tyree Nichols. Probably need more police officers, more money, not less. But feeding the machine is exactly what's gotten us to the point where we are today. From the NAP Commission and... Yeah, and here's the thing too. If you, if you get more grants, more money to get more police officers, what's going to happen? You're going to get more beatings, more cops out there abusing people's power, more cops that are going to get their feelings hurt and arrest people over hurt feelings and judgmental, stupid, uh, tyranny calls out there. You're going to get cops out there that are going to shoot more people and you're going to have more dead civilians on, on the, the hands of the police officers and the county like that. Because you get the cops going to say, well, we will fear for our life and our safety. In Mullen Commission alone, which both sought to expose and root out the systemic corruption within the New York Police Department, we see that organizations like the Fraternal Order of Police grow more and more corrupt, more equipped to inflict brutality, more prepared to do more damage to the liberties of the people as they help to implement a totalitarian surveillance and police state. Feeding the machine more money and more resources will never yield more liberty. History. You know what? And if you feed more money, what's going to happen? You're not fixing the problem. You're just making the problem worse. It's like when you're feeding more money to the, co uh, to the police departments to get more cops, what are you doing? You are simply pouring more gasoline onto a bonfire and make it to a bigger inferno. History teaches us that the exact opposite happens every single time. Leave your thoughts about this for the world and the global thought police. Let me touch up on something before we get out of here. You know, it's like this. You think we should really hire more cops like in Leon Valley, Ormus Park, Morro Bay, Portland, you know, at the time when he had Chief Daniel Outlaw, now she feels Delphi. Should we go hire more cops to support Chief Daniel Outlaw? Should we hire more hire more cops for Chicago PD? That the one the Chief just quit. Then you got a Chicago co police officer who got shot and killed. Well, maybe it's about damn time that fucking cop got is shot and killed. About fucking time. Knowing the way the statistic is how Chicago PD are killing unarmed civilians. So yeah, why not take one there? Eye for an eye. Should we hire more NYPD? Officers who are sitting there getting away with all kinds of fucking jack thug boot licking shit. Should we hire more LAPD? Should we hire more Ch uh, Seattle PD? I don't think so. <laughs> Anyways, I'm out of here. My job. Peace out.